Hello Spiritual Seeker, if you like this video and want to support the channel, remember to check out the description for very powerful recommended literature for you to expand and learn more about this. Welcome to today's video. In the 17th century, as the modern scientific revolution was unfolding, Johannes Kepler, 1571-1630, reshaped humanity's vision of the cosmos. Known as the discoverer of the three laws of planetary motion, Kepler is often remembered purely as a brilliant astronomer. Yet behind his mathematical precision was a profound mystical intuition. He believed the universe itself was an expression of divine harmony. For Kepler, science and spirituality were inseparable. Numbers, geometry and astronomy were not cold abstractions, but the very language of God. His idea of the harmony of the spheres imagined the cosmos as a vast symphony, each planet contributing its note to the eternal music of creation. In this vision, cosmic order was not accidental, but consciousness made visible through divine geometry. Kepler's Life and Quest for Order Johannes Kepler was born in 1571 in Weil der Stadt, in what is now Germany. From a young age he showed both a fascination with mathematics and a deep sense of wonder about the divine order of the universe. He studied at Tübingen, where he encountered the Copernican heliocentric model, which placed the sun at the center of the cosmos, an idea still controversial in his time. Kepler embraced it wholeheartedly, convinced that the sun symbolized God's radiant presence, the source of light and life. His life was marked by both hardship and brilliance. Financial struggles, political turmoil, and personal losses coexisted with groundbreaking scientific discoveries. Yet, through all of it, Kepler pursued a single vision, to uncover the geometry of God's creation and reveal the harmony uniting science, spirit, and cosmos. The Harmony of the Spheres Kepler inherited from the Pythagoreans and Plato the idea that the cosmos was structured as music, a harmony of the spheres. While earlier thinkers had treated this notion metaphorically, Kepler sought to prove it scientifically. In his work, Harmonicis Mundi, Harmony of the World, he described how planetary motions followed mathematical ratios that could be expressed as musical intervals. For Kepler, the movements of the planets were not chaotic, but orchestrated, forming a cosmic symphony reflecting God's mind. He believed that just as musical harmony brings disparate notes into unity, so the cosmos itself reveals a hidden order, binding the many into one. In this way, astronomy became theology. The stars and planets were instruments in the eternal song of divine consciousness. Geometry as the Language of God Kepler's early masterpiece, Mysterium Cosmographicum, The Cosmic Mystery, reflected his belief that geometry is the foundation of creation. He proposed that the distances of the planets could be explained by nesting the five platonic solids within one another, a model he believed revealed God's geometric blueprint for the universe. Although later science refined or replaced some of his models, the principle behind them was clear. Mathematics is not a human invention, but the language of God woven into creation. For Kepler, geometry and proportion were more than tools of calculation. They were signs of divine intelligence expressing itself through cosmic order. Consciousness, in this view, is mirrored in the precise patterns that govern the heavens, the three laws of planetary motion. Kepler's most enduring legacy was the discovery of the three laws of planetary motion. That planets orbit the sun in ellipses, that they sweep out equal areas in equal times, and that their orbital periods relate mathematically to their distances from the sun. These laws laid the foundation for modern astronomy and influenced Newton's theory of gravity. Yet for Kepler, they were not merely physical descriptions, they were revelations of God's rationality imprinted in the cosmos. He often wrote of his discoveries as if he were reading the mind of God. To uncover the laws of motion, 
was to glimpse divine consciousness, which ordered the heavens not through chaos, but through elegant mathematical harmony, music, soul, and cosmic consciousness. Kepler did not see the harmony of the spheres as abstract mathematics alone. He believed it had direct spiritual resonance with the human soul. Just as the cosmos is structured in harmonic ratios, so too is the human mind attuned to harmony. Music, for him, was not a cultural artifact but an echo of cosmic consciousness vibrating through human awareness. When we hear music, we resonate with the same mathematical patterns that shape the stars. Thus, Kepler saw a deep kinship between microcosm and macrocosm. The soul reflects the cosmos, and the cosmos reflects the divine. In this way, consciousness itself is woven into the fabric of creation, a living participation in the universal harmony. Science and spiritual vision united. Kepler's worldview defies the modern division between science and spirituality. For him, studying astronomy was an act of devotion, a way of honoring the divine order of creation. He once wrote, I was merely thinking God's thoughts after him. To discover a mathematical law was not to strip the cosmos of mystery, but to enter more deeply into its meaning. Kepler's work stands as a reminder that consciousness can embrace both precision and wonder, calculation and reverence. His science was rigorous, but it was also mystical, a way of hearing the silent music of the stars and recognizing it as the voice of God resonating through the universe. The Legacy of Kepler's Harmony Today, Johannes Kepler is celebrated as one of the founders of modern astronomy, yet his deeper legacy lies in his vision of a conscious cosmos. He showed that the universe is not random, but patterned, not lifeless, but harmonious, reflecting divine intelligence at every level. His blending of mathematics, music and mysticism invites us to see science not as the enemy of spirituality, but as its partner. In a time when many struggle to reconcile reason with faith, Kepler's life offers a radiant example. The universe is geometry set to music, and in its harmonies we glimpse both order and meaning. To study the stars is to participate in the song of creation, awakening to the truth that consciousness itself is at the heart of the cosmos. The Music of the Stars Johannes Kepler's vision of the cosmos was one of beauty, harmony, and divine order. He revealed that planetary motion, far from being mechanical, is a kind of music, the harmony of spheres resonating with the soul of creation. For him, consciousness was not a human accident, but the reflection of God's mind, perceiving the geometry and music that structure the universe. His life reminds us that to look up at the stars is not only to measure their paths, but to hear their song, a hymn of order, beauty, and divine consciousness echoing through eternity.